Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on the Perpetual Inventory link for QuickBooks Online. I'm starting with a new QuickBooks Online system. So first, I want to have a look at the chart of accounts to see what accounts we may need to add. At a minimum, we will need one inventory asset account to record the value of our inventory. This system does not have an inventory asset account, so I will create one now. First I select Other Current Assets from the Category Type, then I select Inventory from the Detail Type. Lastly I enter the account name and click the Save button. If you want greater detail on your inventory, you should have a Work in Progress Inventory Account and a Finished Goods Inventory Account. I will follow the same procedure to create these now. Once we have finished reviewing the chart of accounts, I will now switch to my Manudyne system. I'm starting with a new Manudyne system, so the welcome screen is displayed and I can start configuring my system. For the purpose of this video tutorial, I am only interested in the settings for the Perpetual Inventory link, which I can get to by clicking on this link or by clicking on the System Settings menu group and clicking the General Options menu item. This is the General Options screen which is used to control various parts of the system. For now we are only interested in the account setup, so click the Accounts tab to continue. When you added Manudyne to your QuickBooks system, your chart of accounts was loaded into Manudyne. We can confirm this by clicking the Look Up button next to these default account fields. Now we need to set a default account for each account type. To keep things simple, you can use the same income account for all four income types and the same expense account for the three expense types. Next we will set our inventory asset accounts. If you don't want to distinguish between raw material, work in progress and finished goods inventory, just use the same asset account for all three accounts. In my example, I will use the three different accounts that were created in QuickBooks Online. This is all we need to configure in Manudyne, so click the Save icon and switch to your QuickBooks Online system by clicking on the Inchwit button in the top right corner of Manudyne. Now we will finish the Perpetual Inventory configuration by reviewing the preferences for this QuickBooks Online system. Click on the Products and Services section to display the setting for Quantity on Hand Inventory Tracking. In order for Manudyne to transfer the perpetual inventory transactions to QuickBooks Online, this setting needs to be turned off. Please note that if you have been using this feature to track Quantity on Hand information in QuickBooks, those quantities will now disappear, so it is recommended that you confirm that your quantities have been transferred to Manudyne before turning off this setting. Now we are ready to see the Perpetual Inventory link in action.